Would you like to speak English with no hesitation, like a native speaker? In this video, we are learning 99 useful and common English sentences helping you speak English more and more fluently. So, let's get started. The first one is, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Do you know? It means, do you understand? Do you get? Do you get what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Number two is, do you need anything? Do you need? Do you want anything? If it is she, so it is, does she? Does she need anything? Does he need anything? Does he need anything? Do you need anything? Now, what is the answer? I don't need anything. No, thanks. I don't need anything. It's not rocket science. It's not rocket science. Rocket science refers to something very difficult. It's not rocket science. It means it's not very difficult. It doesn't need uh, thinking a lot. Okay, so it's not rocket science. It's almost easy. How can I get there? How can I get there? All right. You are on the street and uh, you want to get to the, for example, the post office. So uh, you find someone and you ask this. How can I get to the post office? How can I get to the bank? How can I get to the gas station? It's a very common expression in English. You can use it in everyday life. Everyday English. All right. How can I? I don't say can. I say, I say can. How can I get there? How can I get there? God bless you. God bless you. A different pronunciation is this. God bless you. Bless you. God bless you. The next one is, how long will you stay? How long will you stay? Imagine you have a guest and you want to know how long she will stay. So you can ask this. How long will you stay? How long are you here? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It means it's not important. It doesn't matter. Not a big deal. It doesn't matter. Introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. It means say your name, your family name, your first name, and uh, your career. Talk about yourself. Introduce yourself. Have a good time. Have a good time. Or have a good day. They are the same. Have a good time. Have a good day. Give me a hand. Give me a hand. It means please help me. Give me a hand. I apologize. It's a very formal way to say sorry. I apologize. I'll handle it. I'll handle it. Handle it. It means I can deal with it. I can solve this problem. I don't need your help. I'll handle it. I'll handle it myself. The next one is, I'm not home right now. I'm not home right now. How beautiful this city is. How beautiful this city is. Beautiful, pretty, nice. How beautiful. For, or, for example, how beautiful your car is. How beautiful your girl is. How beautiful your house is. How beautiful your room is. So you can change it. You can, you can make different sentences with this. How beautiful this city is. You're such a liar. You're such a liar. Liar. You're such a liar. You're such a kind man. You're such a kind man. 
Or for example, you're such a nice man. You're such a nice person. You're such a good friend. Just change the words. You're such a kind man. You're such a good man. You're such a, let's say, um, friendly person. You're such a lovely, lovely girl. Help yourself. You can say that to your guests. Help yourself. Help yourself. Or make yourself at home. It means uh, don't stand on ceremony. Help yourself. Which one do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? Which one do you want? The answer is like something like this. I prefer, I prefer the black one. Or I prefer to stay here. I prefer that one. All right, so this is the answer. I prefer the black one. I prefer the blue one. I prefer the one on top, the one on top of the shelf. All right, so you can have different answers. I'm tied up. I'm tied up. It means uh, I have a lot to do. I'm tied up. It's no use talking to him. It's no use talking to him. It's no use. It's not useful to talk to him. It's no use talking to him. So you have to put uh, gerund verbs here. See, it's no use talking. It's no use calling. It's no use, for example, speaking. It's no use going. All right. So it's no use going there. It means don't go there. It's no use. It's no use going there. It's no use calling her. She doesn't answer. It's no use. Don't waste time. Don't waste time. Waste time. Don't waste energy. See? Don't waste energy. She has lost a lot of weight. She has lost the opposite is gained she has gained a lot of weight she has lost a lot of weight how much do you weigh how much do you weigh for example i'm 90 kilograms how much do you weigh how tall are you how tall are you i'm uh, 1.80 okay how tall are you 1.80 meters why don't you tell him yourself why don't you tell him yourself why do you want me to tell him tell him yourself why don't you tell him yourself I'm really proud of you I'm really proud of you i'm really proud of you or i'm so proud of you it's in your interest to do it it's in your interest it means uh, actually it's beneficial to you it's in your interest to do it or it's in your interest to accept it it's in your interest to accept it see it's, a, it's in your interest to accept the contract. It reminds me of you. It reminds me of you. For example, uh, you are listening to a song. So, uh, it, reminds, it reminds you of your ex-girlfriend. <laughs> it reminds me of you or this song reminds me of you it's likely to happen it means it will possibly happen it's likely probably happen it's likely to happen i'm in charge of this company 
I'm in charge. It means I'm responsible. I'm responsible. I'm in charge. I'm the boss in this company. I'm in charge of this company. I'm in charge of this family. I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble. I don't look for any trouble. You don't know what I've been through. You don't know what I've been through. It's very common, especially in movies. You don't know what I've been through. It means you don't know how difficult it was for me. How difficult the situation was for me. You don't know what I've been through. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. For example, you have bought a new device, a new gadget, all right? But you don't know how to work with it. You don't know how it works. So your friend says to you that it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. I can't take it anymore. It means I can't bear it. I can't take it anymore. For example, uh, I'm tired. I'm tired of my job and I can't take it anymore. He is unbeatable. Unbeatable or unbeatable. Unbeatable. It means no one can defeat him. He's unbeatable. He's unbeatable. She's a bit nervous. She's a bit nervous. Nervous or anxious or worried. She's a bit worried. She's a bit nervous. I'm starving. Starving means very hungry. I'm starving right now. I'm starving. Let's grab a bite. Let's eat something. I'm starving. Sorry for what I did yesterday. Sorry for what I did. Or for example, sorry for what I told you yesterday. Sorry for what I said yesterday. How would you like to pay? How would you like to pay? You may want to pay in cash or pay by your credit card. So, how would you like to pay? Will that be cash or credit? Will that be cash? Is it money or credit or it is credit card? Can I help you with anything else? Can I help you? with anything else do you need help with anything else would you like that gift wrapped would you like that gift wrapped could i have a receipt please you are at a restaurant uh, so you need a receipt could i have a receipt could i have a bill uh, something like this bill or receipt can I speak to the manager, please? We don't say manager, we say manager. Can I speak to the manager, please? What's done is done. What's done is done. Where does this road lead to? It means where does this road go? Where does it lead to? What's the next? What are you staring at? What are you looking at? What are you staring at? Don't make excuses. Don't make excuses. Don't talk nonsense. Don't talk nonsense. It means don't say bullshit. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it think about it or don't even talk about it i can't stop thinking about you you can say that you to your new girlfriend <laughs> i can't stop thinking about you i can't stop thinking about you stop nagging please stop Nagging, please. Don't nag. Stop nagging. The next one is, it's very nice of you. 
It's very nice. It's very kind. Or it's very sweet of you. It's very nice of you. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. When will the train arrive? When will the train? We can change the train. For example, when will the bus arrive? When will the taxi arrive? The next one, it was the least I could do. It was the least I could do. When someone says thank you, thank you for what you've done for me, you can say this. It was the least I could do. It means no problem, no worries. Mm, or for example, you're welcome. Nothing. It was nothing I did. It, I, or it was the least I could do. I need some time to think. I need some time to think. I need some time to think about it. Or I need some time to think about your offer. To think about your suggestion. I wonder what will happen next. I wonder what will happen next. It's going to be a busy day today. It's going to be a busy day today. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. It means it's not sensible. That doesn't make sense. Why are you so silent today? Why are you so silent today? It means why are you so quiet today? It's a mystery to me. It's a mystery to me. It means I don't know about it. It's a mystery to me. I miss your laughter. I miss your laughter. Stop making that noise. Stop making that noise. Or don't make that noise. I need to take a shower. I need to take a shower. You take a shower or you take a bath. I need to take a shower. I can't wait any longer. I can't wait any longer. Use your brain sometimes. Use your brain sometimes. It means think carefully. Think more. Use your brain sometimes. Let's grab a bite to eat. For example, we are so hungry. Uh, let's grab a bite to eat. It means let's eat something. Let's grab a bite to eat. You look totally different. You look totally different. Totally. Totally. You look totally different. Can I lend some money? Can I lend some money? Or can I borrow some money? Lend, borrow. Lend means give money. Borrow means get money. Can I lend? Can I borrow some money? I'm too busy at the moment. I'm too busy at the moment. What can be done right now? What can be done? What can we do? What can be done? I have no idea what you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. I hope I feel better tomorrow. I hope I feel better tomorrow. Fasten your seatbelt. Fasten your seatbelt. Don't forget to fasten your seatbelt. I've never felt happier. I've or I have never felt happier. I haven't spoken to her for a while. I haven't spoken to her for a while. 
I have been up all night. I have been up all night. It means I stayed up. And uh, it means I didn't sleep last night. I have been up. I've been up all night. How can I trust you? How can I trust you? Congratulations on your wedding. Congratulations on your wedding. There is no room to make any mistakes. There is no room. It means we can't make any mistakes. We don't have any chance. There is no room to make any mistakes. I need to leave right now. I need to go. I need to leave. I need to leave right now. The shop has closed down. The shop has closed down. Never believe everything you hear. Never believe everything you hear. You're getting on my nerves. It means you're making me crazy. You're getting on my nerves. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. I never knew you could do that. I never knew you could do that. Please don't take this to heart. Please don't take this to heart. It means don't take this personally. Don't take this to heart. Let me know when you're free. Let me know. It means tell me. Let me know when you're free. Please take my advice. Please take my advice. It means please listen to me. Relax and take a deep breath. Relax and take a deep breath. You make me smile every time I see you. You make me smile every time I see you. You learn something new every day. You learn something new every day. I usually finish work around five. I usually finish work around five. There is no going back. There is no going back. That's not fair. That's not fair. All right. Thank you guys for your kind attention. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and learned something new. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and leave a comment below. See you next time.